What's going on guys? Welcome again to another instalment of Twisted Vapor. So we are looking at a really nice little stock coil tank today guys. Yeah, we're looking at one from Coil Art. Yeah, you heard me right. Coil Art has made a stock coil tank and it is part of their Mage series. So we're looking at this, the Coil Art Mage sub tank. So without further ado, let's dive on down, see what we get. Okay guys, let's take a look then at the Coil Art Mage sub tank. And as you can see, it turns up in the typical style Coil Art box, very black, very yellow. We do have a picture of the tank sat on top there as well as the Coil Art logo at the top there. And we also have the mesh coil sticker. Very, very nice. So moving around to the side of the box then, we do have Mage sub tank wrote there. At the top of the box, we do have all our different color options at the top. As you can see, I did go for black and gold. On the side there, I have Mage sub tank wrote again. On the underside, we also have all their social media links and we do have them all there. We have YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google. They're all there guys, Instagram. On the underside then, we do have Mage sub tank as well as our configuration of the box as well as a little attention sticker there and the normal TPD compliancy things as well as our scratch and check. So to get into the box then we just slide off this little tab and we're able to get into our box, we just lift up the lid. As you can see we do have the quality certified card at the top and we also have a very nice user manual which is illustrated and is also in a couple of different languages for you. Very, very nice. So we take a closer look then at the inside of the packaging then for the Mage sub tank. As you can see, not much has really changed. We still get the same 5.5 ml capacity plastic frosted tube we also got a spur o-rings and things and we also get a spur coil now the spur coil guys is a single build as you can see there and we are rated at 0 0.4 ohms between 30 and 80 watts although they do recommend between 40 and 50 so you are looking around about 55 watts there for this coil if we move on to the actual sub tank itself just move all this out of the way there as you can see it looks exactly the same as the version 2 RTA and that is because it is the only thing they have only really changed with this tank is the fact that now it takes a stock coil instead of having a rebuildable deck so everything else is pretty much the same. So we still have the same removable 810 drip tip, although it has that little cutout at the top there, which does limit us to using the one that is provided. And you do only get one in this this time, instead of the two we got with the version two. We do still have that big chunky O-ring there at the top there, which does catch into that little groove, keeping that 810 nice and snug. At the top we do have that etching still there to allow us to easy top fill. And we do still have them two giant kidney style filling slots there as you can see. We just put this back on like so. Moving a bit further down then guys as you can see we do have that little uh, rubber bung inside the glass piece there as normal to limit it to the TPD compliance of 2 mil. Without that you will bump it back up to 3.5 mils, the same as the version 2. At the bottom here we do have fully adjustable airflow that does lock in either side exactly the same as the version 2 so the airflow system on this is identical. And underneath we do have a little bit of laser etching, we do have Mage right there as well as designed by Coil Art and we do have a protruding 510 so you can put this on your hybrid mech mods and uh, just to quickly show you what that would look like if we just grab the vgod mech 2 here we can just quickly show you that it does look quite nice on your hybrids 
there we go so as you can see it does look really really nice sat on top of your hybrid mech mods so the coil that comes inside of this then guys is the mesh coil we just unscrew this like so as you can see there's the liquid getting everywhere that i've been using this so i've been using this coil then guys for a little over a week now it's probably around about eight nine days it is starting to char up now um i have been using a very high vt juice been using the 70 30 and i've been using this at roughly around about 50 to 60 watts now this one guys is a 0.2 and it does go between 50 and 90 watts and they do recommend between 60 and 80 so I've been using it around the lower spectrum of this coil. So let's uh, change out this tank then shall we guys, actually no let's do the sizes first just to be thorough to make sure that it is all exactly the same we just get the calipers here switch it on zero out okay so let's do our diameter first then so we are looking at hang on apologies guys we'll need to zero this out again okay so we are looking at 24 millimeter so exactly the same as the version 2 then so top to bottom with the drip tip then is 41.59 so yeah it's exactly the same as the version 2 rta so let's change out this tank then guys and put on our bubble glass we just take off this little rubber grommet like so we get our bubble glass and we put the bubble glass back on we'll give it one more little measurement see whether it is exactly the same we get the calipers again, we zero these out. 27, yeah, it's exactly the same, guys. 27.1. So it's exactly the same in every single way in terms of dimensions. What you get in the box, bar one extra drip tip. Instead of the extra drip tip you got in the version two, you are now going to receive an extra coil head. Everything else is exactly the same. It holds exactly the same e-liquid, the same amount of e-liquid, sorry. The bubble glass holds the same capacity as well at 5.5. Very, very nice. The biggest change then is this stock coil. So let's fill it up with e-liquid and see whether this stock coil, this mesh coil, does it some justice. Okay then guys, so that was a up close and personal look then at the Coil Art Mage sub tank. So we have it all filled up with juice. We are using some G1's Melon Moi. I will put a link down in the description below where you can go and pick up this juice for yourself. It is a really nice watermelon tropical style vape. I will post links as I have said. So we have got this sat at 65 watts on the mod defined Draco with the airflow wide open. Let's give this thing a bit then shall we? our pros and our cons then so let's start off with the pros as always pros for this tank then guys are pretty much the same as the last time i still like the etching on the top fill as well as the two nice big kidney filling slots i do like the 5.5 capacity spur glass even though it's plastic and i also like the airflow system that you get through this tank it is a very nice smooth subtle airflow that keeps that flavor coming I really do like the airflow on it guys and I still like the old looks of it it still looks a very sexy looking tank guys it really really does the pros are pretty much the same as I have said but there is one new big pro and it is that mesh coil guys that mesh coil produces with so much flavor it's it's really really unbelievable it, it gives you the vape of the RTA. 
Now the RTA variant of the Mage is an absolutely fantastic tank. It's got flavor and clouds for days. This, even though it is a stock coil tank for somehow and some reason, it gives you the same, same experience and it is extremely satisfying. I've got to say, I've really been thoroughly enjoying using this mesh coil. Very, very, very nice. Okay, so let's take one more vape then and we're going to move on to our cons because unfortunately, just like the last one I reviewed, the version 2, we have got quite a few with a couple of additions. So, let's have one more vape and then we'll move on to our cons. Okay then guys, so let's move on to our cons then for the coil art mage sub tank first con then guys is again that 810 coil art what are you doing if you're going to give us these lovely removable 810s at least allow us to put in our own why have we got to go and put a little weird groove on it so where you can't go and put your own in there? i have no idea so for that that's a con the next con i have for this is quite a bit of a doozy actually guys is the airflow ring the airflow collar ring on this is actually quite considerably loose. If I just take off the Draco here, I'll be able to show you what I mean. So as you can see then guys, we do have the fully adjustable airflow ring at the bottom here, but if I give it a little look at this, it is incredibly loose. Now it is meant to come off in the first place for allowance of cleaning, that's why we do have the O-ring there at the base. But that O-ring guys, it's not thick enough. It just doesn't seem to want to hold the actual ring in place fully. It it seems a bit thin. So there's a little bit of a con there for me. I would rather have seen a thicker O-ring around the base there to hold that ring, not the airflow ring, to hold it more into place and probably even give it just a little bit more in terms of restriction when you come to adjust it as it is it's very loosey goosey it is very loosey goosey so the airflow collar ring there is also a bit of a con the next little con that i do have for this guys is the plastic tube i don't know why they keep throwing in these plastic tubes they're not the prettiest of things i would rather have seen a spur bubble glass being glass not plastic so that also is a little bit of a con in my book. Now all these cons guys, these are all my cons. They might not be your cons. You might have different ones or you might not have any at all. But these are my little cons. And to be fair, the pros still outweigh the cons. So overall, it is still a fantastic sub tank. I am really, really impressed with the mesh coil that is sat inside of here. The flavour and the cloud production, as you've seen, guys, is absolutely phenomenal. And we are even using it at 65 watts as well. One more bait then, guys, and then I'm going to tell you where we can get this for yourself. And then I am out of here, so... Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, where can you get this then for yourself? You can go and get this for yourself at www.esig1.co.uk where they do have all the colour options available. Now the colour options available that we have are all black but where we have the gold accents there on this one we also have the blue accents and we can also get it in with red accents. So we have all the colour options available. So how much is this fantastic mesh coiled stock coil tank? Well, this will cost you nineteen ninety nine. Yes, twenty pounds. Well, just under twenty pounds. So for nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence, you can get your hands on this fabulous stock coiled mesh tank. Now, as I said, guys, the coil on this, I have been using it for over a week, and it's still going. So it's not a bad coil in this, guys. It really isn't. It really, really isn't.